Let's talk about receiving your good. Welcome, welcome. Say hi as you come on, whether you're here live or on the replay. I'm Kai Clifford, your spiritual guide and energy alchemist, as many of you might know. But if you're new here, I am a healer that has healed people from everything, like from chronic illness, stomach spasms that kept them awake and in excruciating pain for years and years and years, while also healing her in her business success and her visibility fears. I've helped clients that were unlucky in love to completely change the way that they see love and communicate their boundaries and feeling like they couldn't be them real, their real selves around, her real self around person to then manifesting love and having a beautiful child and baby while also releasing blocks around even being able to be in business. And now she's building her own business, selling amazing things. I've helped people come to me that were frozen in fear, in chronic pain, in so much anxiety, and then to transform it and in the process boost their business success, heal their relationships. So I tell you this so you know that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to healing. And look at this, you can see my little grey streak here. I'm so proud of my grey streak. When I go to my hairdressers again to get it done, uh, my hair done, so because it's lighter at the bottom. I'm going to actually ask for this to stay out. I'm actually really proud of it because gray, gray streaks mean wisdom. And it actually happened over a weekend during an intense spiritual experience I had. So, yes, it's my little silver streak of wisdom. <laughs> so gorgeous. Did you know, obviously we have a need to receive, yes. But is that a squirrel in the background? No. I've got squirrels everywhere, though. Where are they? Where are they? Well, good luck squirrels today uh, no uh, when i see one i'll let you know keep a look out for a squirrel in the background okay oh there's one over there yeah, i don't think you can see it from where you are though it's right there on the ground there near the tree so it's but okay anyway so we all know that we have a need to receive but did you know that you need to give is just as strong as you need to receive except we've been so blocked when it comes to receiving we often feel like it has to be like good enough and are so worried about it being received in the right way but the truth is when you slow your giving down you slow your receiving down and now we all know gratitude helps things manifest but it has to come from the right mindset if you and this is a big part of what my healing work helps you heal whether we're healing your chronic physical pain helping you grow your business releasing emotional wounds um, fortifying your emotional fitness things like that it still all helps with your receiving and your giving it helps with not just being grateful because you know that's the key and so you're grateful to get something hello welcome hi it's not about being grateful so you get something it's being grateful oh here comes a squirrel I'll, I'll see if he comes closer it's about being grateful because of how much you've received because of how much God the universe infinite spirit has given to you how abundant this world is that of course you give from everything that you have because you have so much to share and so one of the great spiritual laws is one of the great spiritual principles is what is it that you want okay find out how you can give that away find out how you can help another get what you want and then you will receive okay now where's that squirrel gone he has disappeared <sighs> come on squirrel come back I'll find a squirrel for you. Okay. Oh, oh, there he is. He's running right there. Can you see him? Can you see him? I don't know if you can see him on the camera. He's all the way over there on the ground. He's by the lamppost. Did you see that? Or did I have it like pointed in the completely wrong direction? I don't know. Please let me know in the replay. Um, okay, gorgeous. So, the power of giving. And it's so important that you work with your nervous system it's not just enough to be positive like i'm talking to people who and you know clients have come to me that they're not understanding why they're doing a meditation and then their anxiety still comes back like they wake up with stress or panic attacks or things like well meditation is not going to do that much okay now there's a time and a place for it for sure 
especially if you're contemplating with meditations based around questions on spiritual principles, that's the most effective type of meditation. You want to put your mind on a spiritual principle and not, I, I really, I mean, I, I used to practice Buddhism, okay, for years. In fact, that's how I got into the spiritual path 20 years ago. So I have been around the block in more ways than one, but especially spiritually. Um, so I've really grown through a lot of this and I've practiced. I'm, I've really practiced what I preach. And when it comes to meditation, the empty, blank-minded meditation, I believe from my experience, is not the highest form of meditation. And it won't really help you much, if you ha especially if you have anxiety and things like that. Yes, sure, it can have its time and place. But as I said, if you're going to do meditation, you can meditate and, and ask like, what is the truth of life? And then you empty your mind and you sort of let the answers sort of come through and you still have a sort of blank mind but you 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 try to get the answers through meditation while stilling and being mindful it's a whole thing but to actually reprogram your subconscious so that you no longer feel anxious and you react to life in a different way you really need to be learning how to do emotional healing which is my genius and it's my genius because what 14 years ago when I had a mental breakdown because I was under so much stress and I thought that there wasn't any way that I could change my life because I thought I just I honestly thought that what I was doing was what I had to do for so many reasons well I can tell you I had PTSD a chronic lung issue that ended up a year after I got into healing, actually coming to a point and almost died because I really wasn't looking after myself. Um, plus lungs of grief. And I had so much grief. And in a big spectacular energy healing session, I healed my lung issues back in 2011. It's 2024 20, now. So that's what, 13 years. And I haven't had a lung issue since. Now, maybe three times, I have a little, like three times. And that was actually more recently. I've had a little chest cold but before if I got any problem in my lungs it would take me out I'd be coughing for hours and hours and hours every day and excruciating pain not just coughing but I mean the most excruciating pain waking up in fear frozen every morning oh here's a squirrel there he is see right right there right there does this thing zoom in no oh it does come on let's look at this here oh here he comes hello do you like squirrels Squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> I do, obviously. Did you know growing up in Australia, I'd never seen a squirrel in person until I left Australia when I was 26. Um, and I haven't really been, I've been back twice for a short periods of time, um, but I've lived in different countries over the world since then. Oh, it's bright. Put my glasses on. Otherwise I'll be all squinty. And, okay, so what are talking about? Yes, yeah, so lungs of grief and that was 13 years ago that I healed that with the help of some others. And I can tell you, it hasn't come back. Like, yeah, as I said, I've got three little chest colds, but that's like a week of just a tiny little cough that was just a regular thing. It was amazing. It didn't ever bother me again. I've also healed chronic fatigue that the doctors told me I'd be sick with forever. You know, I thought, and this was before I knew healing, before I got into energy work, I'm just a natural born healer. And I was like, no. So I threw her prescription in the trash bin, went home and figured out how to heal myself within eight months, back to full energy. Now, I've had so many issues over my life, but I believe I signed up for that, for my soul contract, so I could become a powerful healer. There's so many issues, so much darkness that I've had, that I've had to transcend and transmute in my personality, so much insecurity, so much fear, so much sickness, mental health issues, real world issues, being in trouble, <laughs> getting myself out of trouble, and learning how to transcend it all. And over the last, I mean, really the last 20 years, I've been on this journey, as I said, with healing the chronic fatigue before I even got into energy work. And I was still healing people in energy work sessions, like uh, healing breath massage. And I was, I was having these amazing spiritual experiences before I knew I was a healer. But anyway, so when you start to clear 
the heaviness in your body that whether it's actually already come to the point where it's chronic illness or whether it's just anxiety where you wake up feeling stressed or panicked or where you keep overthinking or you're overwhelmed or you can't stop working because you know you feel like you won't be worthy if you're not doing something or you can't start working because you feel like you're just not good enough to start working which are the two different sides of the same issue the the issue's a coin right so whether you can't relax or you can't get going it's literally because of the same root issue it's just how you've responded to it differently because of your upbringing dynamic and your personality now when you clear all this in your subconscious you become more conscious you literally have more room for source energy in your body and you become more intelligent is that squirrel up there there's a squirrel up in the tree i don't think you see it though let's try again let's try this can you see the squirrel in the tree no anyway so squirrels very interesting to me <sighs> my point is when you clear this stuff you open up the channels for giving you really do you open up the channels for receiving and you look at how can you give what it is that you want what you already have as well and what you don't have you learn that when you really do your emotional healing work and you clear that chronic pain in your body you start to realize that it's not just some physical thing even if you have like back pain i've had so many clients come to me in back pain or they've often come to me for business success and while we're together i'll say do you have any physical issue and it might be like for instance a lady with stomach spasms or multiple clients with back pain or sciatica or um asthma things like that and they're like well yeah and they think it's not related and i can actually help you boost your business success and whether it's actual monetary success that you want or maybe you've already reached a great level of success in your business maybe you feel like you have a ceiling and you want to go higher or maybe you're pretty happy with your money but you feel like you're still not quite fulfilled or it's stressful or it's just taking up all your time or you're great in business but yet you're having trouble communicate communicating your true self with your partner so you hold back and you can never feel fully comfortable whatever your success looks like whatever you need to have a fully successful and happy life we can clear that well i clear that with my one-to-one -one clients in my upcoming quantum keys seven week program it has two levels um uh a lower end acceleration level and a slightly high end it's not that high end but it's still you know it's it's a good investment because you're going to get guided through my expertise into your shadow into your emotions into your unconscious mind that is very hard to access yourself and even when you do access it how do you change it that's what i'm here for so these quantum keys are literal emotional keys now i just did a free training on it if you want to access it um it won't be available forever i think i will be making it paid at one point it's at spiritualsuccessjourney.com slash ready steady manifest go and you can message me for the link if you want just type in manifest and i'll send it over to you um you can just dm me the word or whatever like that so ready steady manifest go my free training that you can access with a guided healing in it it focuses on one key which is the key of safety if you don't feel safe in your unconscious mind it doesn't matter how positive you're being how much meditation you're doing how many affirmations you're saying ultimately if you have something inside of you that says that it's not safe to be successful whether that's literally money for you or successful in your relationship successful by not people pleasing whatever it is whatever your version of next level success looks like because remember success is not just money okay success is also health success is feeling like time rich okay if you're not time rich then you need this work more than anyone you need to put your time into it otherwise you'll keep on the same i don't have time hamster wheel until you go in and change your subconscious beliefs because time flows through people so what was i saying oh yes this free training focuses on the key of safety if you don't feel safe in your nervous system then you will sabotage you'll slow down things will go wrong if you do get what you want then you could manifest the unsafe thing so it's really important to go into your nervous system and recalibrate this key of safety so that rather than if you go into your body and really feel how safe does my goal feel you might be surprised that it's much lower than you thought, even though you're positive on the surface. And this is what I help you change. This is what my free training will help you change. So do check it out. It really is worth the time and energy. This free training is premium level. 
my work, it goes beyond and above what most people can do because I combine not just the emotional healing, but also the positive manifesting side. And a lot of people just do one or the other. Whereas I know how to do that. Plus I combine it with faith-based prayer, with ch tapping into God, the divine, infinite spirit, the universe, whichever words you can get behind for the higher power. It doesn't matter as long as you have faith in good things happening. And your beliefs will probably evolve over time around it, but it doesn't matter. I can help you tune into the greatest version of yourself manifest incredible things while healing your body while improving your mental and emotional fitness okay can you hear that it's right above me there it is it's a bed right above me <sighs> okay and my quantum keys program we have seven of them which is including trust confidence being allowing feeling triumphant versus things like shame guilt fear um uh, like a feeling of like a feeling obstructed things like this so we're gonna go and clear the negative and reinforce the positive and literally change your beliefs which change your personality but instead of like trying to layer stuff on top that's not you we just strip away and then help you tap into the parts of yourself that are already there the part of you that is already confident and help bring it out and the parts that aren't confident bring them into you that's confident if that makes sense but it's really effective and you will see that you will manifest whether it is literal money and or amazing conversations amazing relationships amazing opportunities so many of my clients get headhunted for tv they get if they're actors they get accepted for roles or you know just have next level experiences it's so crazy what happens when you do my work so if this has resonated with you please share check out my free training and message me to ask about my upcoming quantum keys program or you can go to spiritualsuccessjourney.com slash quantum keys with an S at the end, because there's seven of them, okay? So I'm Kai Clifford, your spiritual guide and energy alchemist. Please share this, because that is how people find me. And some people, as I said, they come to me for business, and then I heal an excruciating chronic pain that they've been dealing with for years, or save their wombs. I've saved two clients' wombs, who were both told they'd have to have it removed, and I healed their cramps. It's amazing what this work does, and you just don't know one share could literally change some person's life when it appears on their feed and they resonate with my work so gorgeous i'm kai clifford your spiritual guide and energy alchemist and yeah message me with any questions for a no pressure chat uh for my quantum keys program or my one-to-one -one work uh or my free trainings Mwah. bye